disappointed that this broke. This frother part came off. There's the inside. Only used it maybe five days a week for two months. And this came off. There's no way to reattach it. Okay, I thought I would do a video review of my new Secura Milk Frother. Um, it's a pretty simple unit. Uh, it came in black and white. I chose white to match the rest of my coffee bar. Um, it's just a simple carafe, no handle, which I like. It's a little more sleek looking. doesn't take up much space on the counter. Um, so I'll point out a few things. Um, if you look on the inside... There's a little pin there that the um, frothing disc goes onto. This is the frothing disc. Um, a lot of units come with two different discs, one that looks similar to this for milk frothing, and then another um, that is more like just the plastic, the black plastic piece for if you're going to heat the milk without frothing. This one came with two of the same discs. Um, they say you can use the um, same disc for whether or not you're frothing milk or just heating it. So the second disc is really just a replacement for this one, I guess, if it breaks or you lose it or something. Um, one of the things I'll point out about this disc is if you look at the bottom, there's the opening there is a little oblong shaped hole and that fits over the oblong shaped pin in the bottom. A lot of the units I've seen are, um, magnetic so you kind of just drop it in there and it kind of just pops right into place this one you have to line up um, which is a little tricky but not a big deal um, and if you have smaller hands than me it's probably really not a big deal um, so I am going to go ahead and uh, fill this up uh, there are three lines here if I can get so you can see that there's a bottom line there the minimum fill line for frothing milk the middle line there is the maximum line for frothing milk and then the top line there is the max fill line for if you're going to heat the milk but not froth it um, so I'm going to go ahead and pour in the milk um, I'm going to go probably right between the minimum and maximum fill line for frothing. So that's getting close to the max line right there. Um, okay, put the lid on and the controls down here are, you'll see them when, when I scroll through each of them. Um, there's four settings. Um, the first one is for frothing with more of a dense foam. Um, that's right here. The second one is for frothing more of a fluffy foam. The third one is if you want to heat the milk but not froth. And the fourth one is if you want to froth the milk um, without heating for ice drinks or cold coffee drinks. So you can scroll through each of them and whichever one you stop on is what it's going to do. So I'm going to pick the second setting there, which is more of a fluffy foam. So it's, it's started to do its thing. Uh, it says it can take about 80 to anywhere from 80 to 140 seconds, which is actually pretty quick, uh, compared to some of the units I've seen and tried. Um, the other thing is this is super quiet. You can barely hear it. Um, I had another um, frother that I would be afraid to use in the kitchen with the guest room next door. So this is actually fabulous. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it while it does its thing. Um, you can see it's starting to froth. You can barely see the um, frothing disc there anymore. Um, so I'll pause it and it will beep to let me know when it's done and I'll come right back. 
Okay, so I uh, just had a um, three light beeps to let me know that it was done. And it certainly looks like it frothed up nicely. I'm going to go ahead and give this a pour. So this came with a uh, spatula here as well to take the foam out. This would be a lot easier if I wasn't filming here. So you can see it actually did froth up really nicely. Um, I'm going to say that... When I tried this the first time, it had even more froth. The milk is now a couple days old, and I'm thinking that that may be why it didn't froth up quite as well, but it still did a great job. Um, so, there you have it.